It's Thursday, September 17th. I'm Amira David and here are your headlines. A gunman accused of shooting a Washtenaw County Sheriff's deputy is dead after a standoff that lasted more than nine hours. Deputies were responding to a call of a fight between neighbors on Berkshire Drive right near North Prospect Road in Superior Township. That's when the suspects fired shots hitting a deputy. We've learned the deputy has been released from the hospital and is expected to recover. A teenager who stabbed another student to death in Mount Clemens will spend at least 27 years in prison. 19 year old Tania Lewis pleaded no contest to first degree murder in the killing of 16 year old Diana Gibson. Police say it stemmed from a dispute over a boy at Warren Fitzgerald High School in 2018. The plea usually carries a life sentence without parole, but because Lewis was 17 at the time, the judge was able to choose a shorter sentence. Graduate teachers at the University of Michigan have ended their historic strike. Last night, members of the Graduate Employees Organization voted to accept the university's second offer to increase protections of students and staff amid the pandemic. And the offer includes workable child care options, transparent COVID-19 testing protocols, and updates on policing and public safety policies. Quick check on the forecast with Kevin. Hey, Amir, this afternoon, nice and sunny, but a cool day with a high of only 67 degrees, and the real cold air is going to be moving in tomorrow and tomorrow night. So tonight will be in the mid-40s, tomorrow 62. Lows in the lower 40s Saturday morning could be frost in some of the suburbs. We'll warm up back to the 70s next week.